month of Jan Arch because it kind of feels like March out there with these temperatures. <laughs> Call it Jarch. 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 Yeah, okay. short Jarch. Yeah. I like that. Eh, that's the name. <laughs> that, that's what we're going with here for nice. the end. <laughs> Jarch evening. Oh, Jarch evening. Uh, yeah, we had those record breaking temperatures. If you missed it in the first uh, uh, portion of our newscast here, we did get up to 60 in Portland and really multiple locations broke records today. Where are we now though? We're at 42 and we don't have any more 60s in the forecast, at least not for the month of Jarch. <laughs> We're going to be cooling down a little bit more. So let's talk about how things are shaping up so far. Mostly cloudy skies, areas of fog likely to develop. Wind is uh, fairly calm out there and dew point is at 38. I want to show you what we've had so far on our satellite and radar imagery over the last few hours. Uh, lingering showers behind that cold front, still hanging on to the foothills, so we're not completely dry just yet. And we've had some new snowfall also over eastern Oregon, right there along I-84. In fact, a little bit of a tough ride between uh, North Powder and Baker City, a portion of I-84 closed due to multiple crashes as a result of some packed snow right there on the freeway. There's a look right there from the ODOT cam of I-84 and North Powder. If you're familiar with the area, you'll just have to find an alternate route for the next couple of hours. Temperature there is 25 degrees. Let's talk about temperatures. So far for the month, we are leading with above normal conditions, and we are above normal compared to normal. Uh, by more than one degree. That doesn't sound like a whole lot, but we're averaging uh, the daytime highs and the morning low temperatures because we've had plenty of morning temperatures that have also been well above normal. How about tomorrow? Tomorrow closer to normal, 48 for a high. Mostly cloudy skies. We'll get a little bit more of a break from those clouds, I think closer to about 3 or 3.30 in the afternoon in the valley. Hey, if you want some sunshine though, like a pretty much a guarantee for it, you need to go to the mountains because that is where you're going to be above the inversion and unlimited sunshine. Temperature wise, we could see a range here. Overall, looking at the mid 40s for your daytime highs, but uh, there actually might be a few locations up there in Mount Hood that could get up to 50 degrees even over the weekend. How about that snow level? Well, we're going to call it your freezing level this time because it won't be snowing, uh, but that freezing level up above 7,000 feet lasting all the way through Monday. And it's this ridge of high pressure. It's so persistent. It's not going anywhere. So we're going to stay dry for the next six to seven days. And then maybe a change here as we round out to the other side of the week and get to next Thursday. Next Thursday, a chance to see some rain move into the picture and colder temperatures, but we needed to get a lot colder if we want to get some good mountain snow and we might be seeing that by the time we get to next Thursday, Friday and Saturday looking for that pattern to change. Okay, heading out to the coast. Also another excellent place to go if you want to see the sun because also the coast will be out of that inversion. Temperatures could range from the mid 50s, possibly on the high end even to the upper 50s. Spending time in the gorge, you'll be spending time with the clouds in the morning, afternoon and sunshine with temperatures right around 41 to 45. There's your seven day forecast. Again, uh, very consistent is what we'll call these uh, numbers. What will change though, just a heads up, is if we don't clear out from the fog over the weekend, your temperatures instead of being up to 50 could instead be more like 43 or 45. So something that we're going to watch closely for the weekend. Ah, uh, yes, that does make a difference. Thanks, Natasha.